What are we talking about tonight? What are we getting into tonight, guys? Okay. Let's make no fuss about it. We already know what the deal is. Danny no out. Rhett Lashley is in, okay? Big news coming early. As soon as I got back, as soon as I got off the plane from the Jamaica, people already messaging me that we got Rhett Lashley as our new office of coordinator. Some people wanted David Yost. Some people wanted Larry Fedora. I myself, I'll admit it, I wanted Chip Long, the former office of coordinator of Notre Dame. But Miami chose to go with Rhett Lashley, the 36-year-old young gunner, spread attack running office of coordinator and quarterback coach. He's been at SMU the last two years as the office of coordinator. And guys, let's be for real. By now, you guys already know what he's done. You guys already know the numbers. Last year, SMU went 10-3 and three with him as the offensive coordinator. Seventh-ranked offense, putting up over 40 points a game. 30th in the nation in third downs. In third down conversions. And Lord, we know it. We know we needed help on them third downs. So basically, what we went and did is we said, okay, we're going to get the complete opposite of Dan Enos. Dan Enos runs a more of a pro style style of offense. Rhett Lashley runs a high tempo, fast pace. Dan Enos seems to be stuck in his ways a little bit. From the research, from the from the research in the interviews I've watched of Rhett Lashley, I've just been watching old interviews of him discussing his offensive style. He has been willing to change things up, to learn more. I mean, he's only a 36-year-old. So well, what are some things that, you know, when, when I hear that there's a new coach hire, there's a couple things that I look at. Now this, now, this isn't everything I look at, but these are just some things that go through my mind. Does this guy have any type of baggage? You know, does he, you know, has he been fired anywhere? Has he, uh, you know, a lot of coaches have been fired, but has it been fired for crazy reasons? You know, has he had any troubles with the law, any type of baggage that would come to him with Miami? Rhett Lashley has not. Who has he worked under? Well, we're hiring him as an offensive coordinator and a quarterback coach, and he's worked under guys like Gus Malzahn and Sonny Dykes. Come on now. When you're talking about offense, when you're talking about run run a spread offense, an up-tempo offense, you're looking at a Gus Malzahn and Sonny Dykes as two of the guys who you would want to learn from. What about any championships, any awards? He was a finalist in 2013 for the uh, Burles Award, which goes to the best assistant. Was on the 2013 National Championship um, they reached the national championship with Auburn. He was the offensive coordinator. Of course, I'm looking at what type of scheme. High end, high, high, fast pace. This is a guy who wants to score. And they want to score quick. They want to be. They want to be balanced. He he said that. Uh, I can't. I can't remember the quote. But it was basically running is what wins you the game. Running is what can help set up the pass. Music to my ears. Music to my ears, okay? Recruiting. Now, recruiting, especially when you're coming to Miami, I want to know, hey, has this guy? does this guy have recruiting ties in Miami, in Florida? I don't believe so. Um, he hasn't been... A, there's certain off there's certain um, assistants that when you talk about recruiting their name just pops up. This guy isn't one, but he has done some good recruiting. You look at uh, SMU just got one of their biggest recruits ever in his 2021 class in Preston Stone. You're talking about um, you know he had, he helped to get Shane Bouchelle to transfer from Texas to SMU. And then 
guys like Jerry Stidham, you know, so I would say he's, I wouldn't say he's an amazing recruiter, but I wouldn't say he's a bad recruiter. Somebody says good recruiter. Okay. So, hey, you're looking at this guy, Brent Lashley. He's hired as Miami's office of coordinator. And I have to say, I like it. Now, I'm going to talk about a little bit later on, I'm going to talk about some different things, some different opinions. But right now, just hiring who we hired, hiring Rhett Lashley, the timing after a bowl game, I think he's a good hire. But let me tell you this. Mm. Come here, family. Come here, family. Let me tell you this. You know, in TV, I pride myself of telling you how I really feel. And, and I pride myself on being positivity, you know, bringing the positivity, okay? But I got to be real with you. Miami has a lot of problems. Miami has a lot of problems. Hiring Rhett Lashley is a step. I don't know if, I don't know if that's just going to make everything different. Because we have a, from, from the things that I'm hearing now, we got an internal problem with players, with the structure of how things are ran. We got a, we got a, we got a lot of stuff that needs to be fixed in this program. So if anybody's excited about this hire, if anybody's going crazy over this hire, Okay, I'm with you. I'm happy. I think it's a good hire. But I want us to know, and, I'm, and I want to say this. We got to temper our actions. We have to temper our actions because there's a lot more that Miami has to fix. Enos got fired, but I don't think Enos was the only uh, problem. Also, I would like to um, to say that it's going to be interesting to see who he brings in with the rest of the staff. We've heard rumors. We've heard rumors. We've heard that some coaches are fired and some coaches are going to be hired. But when it's signed on a dotted line, when it's sealed, the coaching staff as a whole is very important. And I'm, I'm very interested, just like, Looking into Rhett Lashley, you know, I, I had watched watched SMU um, a couple times. We all watched them um, the the game before the FIU because that game stayed on longer than it should. But who is he going to bring in, and what are what are their resumes? So that's some things that we got to think about. Okay, 